Are you in the market for a mid to large size oven? This may be a big box, but it might actually fit your needs. Does it? Let's find out. What's up everyone? Welcome, Welcome back, back to Team Keller. What? So, if you're new to our channel and you have no idea what we do, or this is the first time here, please consider signing up and subscribing to our channel. Right here. Right yeah, here. look, I'm Just even gonna shake it up so that you can yeah, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right guys, so today we actually have the Oster Countertop Oven XL. It's a uh, mouthful, but- it's because it's a large oven. All right, so this is a Convection oven. So that means it uses heat to kind of cook your food. It's supposed to save you some time on that. Yeah, so this oven it is uh, capable of handling your most larger size pizzas and turkeys and chicken. And for us Spanish people, our pernil. <laughs> you know, that's really important. Yes, so it comes inside with two wire racks and you can move them, they're adjustable. So basically, if you have a larger items, you don't need the second one. You can just basically take it out and fit in that large pernil that you know wants to come. I'm excited. I think we should open this bad boy. Let's open it up. So here we have one of the gigantic racks. Wow. Are you ready? You might need two people to pull this out. You ready? It's Whoa, it's what? not heavy at wow. all. Wow! It is it's so light. It is really, really light. All right, so I'm impressed. First impression. Just like me. Yes, <laughs> looks big, but light. Yes, because I, 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 I dance the salsa. All right, so what else is in the box? Um, we're gonna need another rack. This is, wow, this is really neat. So this is the cleaning pan. It actually comes with a crumb tray. So whenever you have anything on top, your items drop in here, actually slips into the bottom of yes. this. That's really neat. And then you can slip it in and out. If you're cooking anything that's greasy or it has crumbs, it will fall right in. So it should be really nice for, and really simple and cleaning. Friendly. So if you're a meat freak, this is for you. Yeah. Are you ready for the unveiling? One, two, three. Ta da! What really interests me is that it's a digital oven. So I like the fact that it has all the digital oven features here. So as I mentioned, some of the stuff you have on a digital panel are you can actually toast, you can bake. Um, it has a countertop turbo fan, I guess, to continue to keep the, the food heated as well. You can broil. You can defrost, has a warming button here, and it has a pizza button. So if you actually have a pizza, just set it and forget it. <laughs> you can check out some of our set and forget it videos right there. Right. Yes. So the other thing that I like about it, it has a 90 minute auto turn off feature, which means that if you set it for 90 minutes after that, it will definitely automatically turn off. So you have two other features, the, t the temperature gauge up and down, also a timer um, up and down as well. The clock is when I guess we want to change the clock setting. Uh, finally, the start uh, cancel button. I didn't see a start cancel. You usually yeah. start, start reset. Right Oops. Finally, the stop and cancel button and also the start uh, button as well. Let's put it together. This is one of the an additional. This is an additional tray. An yeah, additional this is an additional tray. tray. So if you wanted to slide it right in here for cooking, so instead of using one of the racks, you can actually put this right on here, and this can hold in like a larger item. But this is also an additional tray that you can use for cleaning up and cooking. Yeah, it goes in the box. All right. So one of the things we want to show you guys is actually how deep it is. It actually has a surface in the back Look, that goes. It fits over my arm. My entire yeah, arm. it has a sort of like a like a groove a dome. or a dome in the back. Uh, so notice how in the back when you put the stuff in, it has a dome where the things can. Put your actually... arm in. Let's see how deep it is. All right. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Right here. Stick it up. Wow, that is pretty deep. That's like, it does say that it can fit two large pizzas. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Side with the groove goes in first. All right, so, so let's put this in first here. Come on here. Oh, 
Nice. And it actually closes. Yes. <laughs> we didn't break it this time. So that's pretty good. I mean, so how much does it retail for? So this item actually retails for about 100 and between 120 and 130 dollars. But of course, as bargain shoppers that we are, you can actually find it on sale for probably about a hundred bucks, save 20 to 30 dollars um, on the device. So it's pretty, pretty good. If you have a small apartment, you're looking for an oven because you're trying to cook that bit meal, or you maybe you're trying to do like a turkey or chicken. This actually will fit it. You simply take out this tray, you cook it here. The tray that we talked about a little bit before is this one. This is the tray that you can use for your crumbs. Take it out, clean it up. You can also use it as additional support. So if you need it here, you can just set it here for additional support. I think we can just put some, let's try and put some items inside, see how big it can hold. We have a couple of this we want to try out for you guys. So first things we're going to try out, we're going to try it out normal size. I'm going to put a laptop in here. Laptop, okay. So whenever you want to cook laptops, you can actually cook it in the countertop oven. The second thing we're going to try out is, let's say your average size chicken. You want to go, oh wait, we need a little more space. We're going to have to take that laptop out. Oh. Oh, to put that yeah. Actually, yeah, it can cook it without the rich. You can actually, if you have your um pots, such as the hex clad um, pots and pans that we reviewed, take a look at that video right there. You can actually or, put them directly in the um, oven, and it will fit because they're oven safe, and you can actually cook your meals directly in there. Now, if you do need the extra space because you are going to cook a larger item like a chicken or something like that, we're gonna put in, this just, This can simulate like to be the size. Maybe a turkey? Yeah, that'll look good. All right, so let's see. Wow. wow. That is pretty neat. That, that is, is pretty neat. Yeah, if you have those big pans, you can dip them right in there and you roast your, your, your chicken, your rice, or whatever you could do in there. All right, so let's plug it and let's set it. All right, one thing that we actually noticed um, is that the plug, the power outlet is very short. It's very short. There's not a lot of room. So, I mean, I guess it's designed for a countertop and you have to have it close to the outlet because it's, this is it, it's all you get. Yeah, so consider that it's probably maybe like 24 inches long, so. Yeah. So after you set it, you're gonna hit the clock button here. Then you're gonna enter the time. So right now, let's say it is, let's say it's 150. 150, yes. All right, cool. So then hit the clock again. Now it gives you the minute. So we're gonna bring it down to 150. And then you hit the clock again. And, and you're there set. It is. You're set. All right, so let's say we're gonna do bake. If you wanna start baking something, Boom. Click on the baking, it gives you the amount of time, and then you just you set hit. the temperature. So if you're setting doing something that you need at 350, 400, the maximum that you can go up to is 450 degrees. Then the next thing you will do is start. Start. We can hear it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna stop that. So next, you have your clock here once again. So if you needed to set a timer, and let's say we're gonna do. 20 minutes on the clock. Once you set the timer in for however long, let's say you're gonna do cookies and you need it to be at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, just put it in, set it and forget it. You know, what do you think about the Oster XL countertop oven? oven. I like it. The first thing that I really appreciate from this device um, is how light it is. It's very light. It it's, is yeah. really light. I mean, it probably weighs, what, maybe, maybe eight, 10 pounds, yeah. max, tops. No, it's probably a little bit more. It's probably like, probably like 10, like about 12 pounds. For, for a large item such as this, yeah. I think it's, it's, very, it's, it's very light. I like the stainless steel, it looks awesome. Yes. So yeah. I think it's very contemporary, it'll fit any kitchen right in. Um, and I think it's very easy for cleaning. You take out all the items, it's a tray, it's good to go. So for me, thumbs up. Yeah, actually uh, for me as well, it is a thumbs up. I can't wait to, let's say, bake some stuff in here. Yeah. You can actually feel it getting warm. For a review video of how you know is planning to use it we're gonna do a video 
uh, follow video on that. So another thing I want you guys to notice is on the sides and on the uh, back, there's a way for the machine to actually breathe the air, the air out. So just be mindful if you guys are putting stuff on top of it or you know um, like towels and things like that. People like to do that. Try not to cover that because it needs to breathe the hot air. And it actually tells you there's a little um, notice, a, a, a little how they say so hot air sign. There is a little sign there that says that the hot air is going to come through here. So if you're looking for a large countertop oven, this Oster XL could be the one, the one for you. So, Alex, you approve? I approve. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you click the like button, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss any of this goodness. Right here. And here, so pass it on my way, pass it on my way. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Team, Team Kello, what?